I put together Predator today. So opening the box, to go through the box, there's two layers of cardboard that you take out, protect it, put everything in place. So we have is the enclosure, the camera, documentation and cables, and the mount. So we're gonna take these out and go through and put all this together. So you take the enclosure, and we're gonna start with this. Um, it's always good to cover the front part of this window uh, when you're putting it down. So again, if you can, use the cardboard, put it on the box, put it on, set it down there so it doesn't get scratched. So we're gonna start with the back part. Grab your Allen key, take off these four screws in the back. This gives you access to the camera. You'll notice when this comes out, there's a weatherized ethernet connector that's already with it. Let's just set this off to the side. Okay. So when you look inside, there's actually a riser block inside. That's what you're gonna mount the camera to. So we're gonna get access to that. Now we've pre-assembled it so that it's already got some components on it ready for mounting. So we're gonna take these off as well. So this is actually a transition plate it goes from the enclosure to the mount. So we're gonna mess with this later. And then there are these two screws here that, that hold in that riser block. So stick your hand up underneath and unscrew those. Set these off to the side. So take it out carefully. You'll see there's actually four sets of screws in there that are already, we've gone ahead and put those in place. And those go for the camera. So those actually mount up on the bottom of the camera. You'll see there's four screw holes there that made up to those, those four spots. So what you wanna do is you wanna have the camera, make sure it's very important to take the lens cap off. Otherwise you won't be able to see very well. So as you mount these in there, you're gonna mount, there's, there's a, um, a variance in each one of these screws location so that you can use different lenses of the AX5 series. So we're gonna screw these into place here. Once you have those in place, now you want the lens to actually sit right past, just barely past the front edge of this. So once those are in there, then you're good to go. The last two are screwed in here. Secure. Okay, so then you're gonna put this back in the system. Again, make sure the lens is facing the window. And as you set that in there, you'll see these two screws here that are gonna match up with our hole locations right here. All right, so you place the camera up in there and then you put these two screws in to hold the camera in place. And then once these have been put in place, tighten down. Camera's secure inside. So what you're gonna do then, again, carefully set this on the front plate, make sure that the air knife is up top and that the ethernet is on the bottom. So this is a quick connect. So we're actually gonna connect this into the camera. So you'll see it's actually connected in the camera now. So now there shouldn't be another reason to open this up. So place the back on it, tighten these down. Now the camera is mounted inside. One thing to note is you should have focused the camera prior to putting this in here. But if you do need to focus it, you can repeat the same process with these four screws, take it out and focus it on the front. So now the camera's mounted in the enclosure. We're gonna take this base plate that comes with it. It's actually already attached. So we're just gonna reattach it onto here. And this allows you to hook up to the swivel mount. So here's the swivel mount. So the swivel mount comes, there's actually a set of uh, screws that are inside there as well. So there's two screws that come in a baggie. The swivel mount, you can mount in either direction depending on where you wanna go. But you simply just put these there, line up, screws it's 
screw that in place. Two of them on there. And then you have everything. This is to tighten up wherever you want it to go. And everything's together in one. That's how you assemble the Viper one.